Hello, this is Rob Dewars, Crop Nutrition Specialist with Hutchinson's. Today I'm looking at the oilseed rate plots here at the Halston RTC site in Norfolk. As we take a look at the plots from left to right, we can see that the majority of the plots are on flower and most of the plots are at mid flowering stage. In the foreground, um, the main part of the crop unfortunately failed um, and that was mainly due to the very wet weather conditions and also a particularly heavy um, infestation of cabbage stem flea beetle in this field. As we can see, looking up the hill, um, there is also some unevenness um, across the plots. At the top of the hill, the crop has established nicely, um, is on full flower. But as we come down towards the bottom of the hill, we can see that there are fewer plots on flower. This is due to the heavier infestation of flea beetle at this end of the field. And we'll take a look at some images of this shortly. So just to contrast those two areas, um, this plot here is a plot of LG326 Acacia. Um, as you can see, this is on uh, full flower, a nice looking plot that's well established. Uh, the plot uh, a bit further down the row um, is a plot of Artemis and uh, this is looking really backward as you can see no, no flower or very little flower at all. Um, so just see the contrast between the two different plots. And here we can start to see the problems um, associated with these poorly, uh, all these backward crops. Um, we can see certainly at the base of the plants in particular, um, there is quite significant infestation of cabbage stem flea beetle larvae. Um, just breaking open some stems, we can see the larvae um, inside. And if we split a stem all the way open, we can see several entry points and uh, several points where larvae are feeding within the stem uh, of the plant. And that's really having an effect and knocking the crop backwards. So this just highlights the issues that growers across the country are having now in growing and getting high yielding oilseed rate crops with uh, these high levels of cabbage stem flea beetle. It's an issue that we're all striving to address.